Why don't you take us through the period of you've just left high school? Yep. Uh, this, the, this the further study that you did and, and what you were working on on the side and how that came to be. Sure. So, the first two years I was basically just working at various, um, and it was everything from like bookshops to cafes to bars. Um, I think there was even a strip club thrown in there somewhere. <laughs> uh, and then I sort of wound up those two years working full time, studying part time. And kind of, I, I took an internship uh, at a fund only because they were sort of mildly interested that I worked in insolvency and they had a, a bit of a short book. Mm-hmm. Um, so I helped them out with some stuff, just, you know, digging on certain companies. Uh, I pitched them a couple of short reports. These were international, so I had no sort of conflict with what I was doing at Farriers. It was just sort of the idea generation on sort of what we can expect, mm-hmm. uh, you know, six months prior to a collapse. So when I came back and I, and I knew how difficult it was for these funds to get data in Australia, I started when I was in uh, uni just you know, reaching out to funds and saying, look, you might have a good thesis in Australia. Um, our market's really different. Everyone thought it was very archaic. Hmm. I mean, we still had like JB Hi-Fi and Harvey Normans where in the US Best Buy was collapsing. Hmm. Um, this was back in like 2014, 15. Yep. And I essentially just pitched that I would do the due diligence support for an hourly rate. So then we started just like someone would send us a thesis and I would just do, you know, even if it was sitting outside shops mm-hmm. or, you know, talking to customers, setting up like survey monkeys, whatever it may be, mm-hmm. um, and got them like an underground perspective of what was happening in these businesses so that they could better, you know, validate. Well, it was essentially thesis validation. Yeah. Um, they wanted to know that they were right. And that's where I started working with Aiden because he was studying at uh, RMIT with me at the time. And he was in engineering. Hmm. And there were a couple of like mining companies that came our way. And I had no idea what I was doing. I was so far over my head with, in terms of like uh, geographical reports and yeah. you know, mining feasibility. Mm-hmm. And so I, I asked him, I was like, hey, do you want to help out with some of this more like mathy engineering related stuff I'm sure you might have fun with it and we had known each other since primary school so we went to we were for instance we were eight I think okay so uh, yeah it, it kind of took off from there and then we started doing some of this work collaboratively and I think once we started to see that some of our work had, had played out and that we were like very correct in our thesis it was that time that uh, we figured it actually might be better off that we do the work ourselves and develop our own thesis, um, even as a proof of concept, so that we can sort of move into this industry. Because that was the end goal, mm-hmm. that, right? When we started doing this, it was like, I want to work in funds management. Mm-hmm. Um, and it, it kind of, didn't play out that way, obviously, <laughs> because we w- once Viceroy kicked off, and w- once we met Fraser, and it was during that time where we were doing some some work for people, and they asked us to look into, um, I think it was TFS, Quintus, Quintus, yeah. Um, I was speaking to someone and like going through a thesis with them that we sort of semi come up with. And they said, oh, I know another guy that's looking into the same company as you. Hmm. And they patched in Fraser on that call. And I think me and Fraser spoke for five hours. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, this guy just doesn't stop talking. But, you know, <laughs> he's pretty interesting, so I'll give him the time of the day. <laughs> and then he accidentally sent me an email from his anonymous outfit at the time, Zatara. <laughs> And kind of said, oh, shit, wasn't meant to tell you, <laughs> tell you what it was. And I think after Zatara kind of 
kind of backfired. We just kind of we just started working together as viceroy, and he just he we we sort of just started talking. He's like, hey, look, we have some great ideas. Um, why don't we just start viceroy? Mm. And he said, cool. And then that's how we started. So it's really strange because we're very like non traditional backgrounds. We phrase his backgrounds in social services. Yeah. Um, I didn't engineering. I'm sort of financy. Mm-hmm. Uh, but it, no, none of us have had any fund experience before. It was just like we were willing to do. We we're willing to spend one month on an idea, whereas most funds have a rolling between like you know at least ten, fifteen ideas per person. Yeah. So the depth that we can cover uh, was much greater, and I think that's that was our, always our value add.